Hi, this is Jason Stewart, and this latest visual effects for the cut tutorial will cover using Boris's Mocha Pro Remove tool to take unwanted objects out of a couple shots. Before we start, I want to show you some of the basics of the Mocha Pro interface that I find the most useful. For this example, I'll try to track and replace this Broad Street sign. This is the kind of thing that Mocha Pro does best, a plain R track with a perspective shift. Plus, the sign goes totally out of the shot, so this would be tough for most trackers. To start, we'll drop the Mocha Pro plugin onto our clip, and in the effect editor, just click this Launch Mocha Pro button. Actually, this is a pretty useful reminder that I'm in half res mode, and the tracker likes the highest resolution footage to work with. So I'll turn my settings to full green and go back and launch. All right, when the interface opens, your footage will be loaded into this main window. Up on the toolbar, we have the Create Rectangular X Spline Layer, or Draw a Box tool. When you create a shape, the new layer will appear in the Layers panel. To delete, I'll highlight and hit the trash can. There's an elliptical tool as well. I'll just delete that. The Create X Spline Layer tool is my usual choice because I can draw any custom shape. You can press C to get out of the Add Points mode. When you're in this Pick or Selection mode, you can highlight points and move them around. You can pull this handle to tighten or round edges, and you can select them all at once to manipulate them together. Also, with the Pick tool or arrow, you can hold down Z to call up the Zoom tool, or hold down X and use the Hand tool to pan around. This kind of stuff might be familiar from Photoshop if you use that. All right, you can return to full screen just by typing asterisk. Now by default, Mocha chooses these attributes to track. You can add or take these away. For this sign, I'll add perspective, because in this shot, the perspective of the sign changes quite a bit. And now we can track forward. Of course, it errors out when the sign goes fully off screen, which is fine. The track seems good, but it's hard to be sure. To check things out, we can use the Show Planar Surface tool to specify the area we intend to replace. And then you can bring up the planar grid to give you a better idea of how the perspective is lining up. And real quick, down along the bottom, there's various tabs or rooms where you can go to adjust settings and get things ready to use in Media Composer. Okay, once you're done with Mocha, you can hit Save up here and then close it out. So after clicking a bunch of buttons and cursing a little bit, I was able to turn this Photoshop graphic into this visual effects shot. But in this video, I just wanted to show you around the interface real quick, so you knew what was what. We're supposed to be removing some stuff, so let's get to it. Okay, we're going to look at what we can do with this airplane in the back of our shot. It's not ideal because the clouds are moving a little bit, but we might be able to use Mocha to help remove that plane using the Remove module. So I'm going to call up Mocha Pro, and drop it on my clip and then launch. When I get inside here, you'll see that I have my clip ready to go. I can use that ellipse tool to select the offending thing. And I only want to track the translation or position, so I'll uncheck the others. Now I'm going to go ahead and say track forward. So we've got a track of the plane's movement, but that's the easy part. Next, I need to move over here and get a track of my clouds to account for the movement of the camera. I label my cloud layer and drop it underneath my plane layer. A quick track of the clouds and then I can manually add a couple keyframes so the rectangle contains the airplane for the entire duration of the shot. Now I'll open the remove module and make a couple settings tweaks. I'll highlight the plane layer and then I'll put about 20 in my blend mode and that'll help smooth things out a little. And then on edge width I'll give it about 10 points. You can tweak these settings to get the best results with your shot. And then we're going to hit save. Now we can close out a mocha. All right, back in Media Composer in the Effect Palette, I'm going to spin down Renders, and then I'm going to click on Remove, and that's it. I'll hit Render Effect and wait for it to cook. Now let's take a look at our shot. We pretty much got rid of that thing. I mean, you'd be able to see if you looked really close, and we can make some more adjustments, but that's fine for offline work. Okay, now we're gonna do something a little trickier. I'm gonna try to get rid of this motorcycle driving on my plate here because we're gonna put a digital car in the shot. 
Inside Mocha Pro, I'm going to select the motorcycle with the ellipse tool. I'm going to do translation and scale this time, just to make sure that I keep it inside the track the whole time. I'm just going to add a couple keyframes, and I'm going to have to push it outside of the frame because the tracker ran out of footage right at the end of the shot. I'll call this layer Moto. Now we need to do something a little different than we did before, and we'll take out a box at the end of the road here, and I'll move the points to fit around the road. Using that Show Planar Surface tool I mentioned before, we use this blue box to help line up everything on the road. I'm going to turn on my planar grid, and the grid is going to help me see the perspective a little bit better. I'll call this Road, and move it beneath my Moto layer. Sometimes in Mocha you'll do a main track and link the other layers to it, like mats for Roto. For this technique, I don't want our box to be pushed off screen during tracking, so I want to unlink the road from its own track. This will keep it in the same position, but still track what's going through the search area. Now as I try to track, I'm getting this error, and I'm realizing that I need to disable the Moto layer since I've already tracked that. It's throwing things off. After tracking, I'll do the same thing as before and extend my box so that it contains the motorcycle for the whole time. And once again, I'm going to blend 20, do an edge width of 10, same as before. Now we can check the remove by hitting the render wheel. So let's hit save and go back to Media Composer. I'm going to set it to render the remove and then render the effect. And then I'm going to hit play and we can see how we did. So it looks like the motorcycle is gone, but if you look at the very end of the shot, there's a little blip down at the bottom of the road. So I'm actually going to go back into the effect editor and I'm just going to move this keyframe a little bit because he got outside of my ellipse a little. So that's pretty good. I'm going to save this again and then go back to Media Composer. When we render again, we've got no more motorcycle in the shot. Not bad. Okay, this has been a very quick primer of using Media Composer with the Mocha Pro plugin. Obviously, your shots might be way more complicated than this, but this could give you an idea of some things that you could try on your own work. Hope this was helpful. See you next time.